If you haven't heard by now, Adobe has just confused photographers. You see, Adobe has been working on a project that was called Project Nimbus. And it was basically Lightroom Mobile, but for your desktop. And now, if you haven't heard, this software is available. It's out. And you can get it under your photography plan or your full Adobe Suite plan. And it really is Creative Cloud of Lightroom on your computer. Now it's called Lightroom CC. So what happens to your previous version of Lightroom CC? Well, that's where the confusion comes into play. Lightroom has decided to rename the Lightroom as you, professional photographers, know it today. They have decided to not listen to everybody who was in testing the Lightroom software, including myself, who is saying that you're about to confuse the industry. And instead of calling Project Nimbus something like Lightroom Light, they went with renaming Lightroom as you know it to the new Lightroom, which is completely different and not what you're looking for. So think of Lightroom CC as Photoshop Elements, but for Lightroom. Lightroom Elements. That might have been a good name. And now Lightroom as you knew it is called Lightroom Classic CC because Lightroom's old enough to be a classic. Really, Adobe? So if you're wondering the difference between all the three versions of Lightroom, because yes, there are three versions of Lightroom for your desktop, here's how it goes. There is Lightroom CC, which is basically Lightroom Mobile, but on your computer. It's your photos stored in the Adobe Cloud, and basically all the smart previews are on your computer. And anything on your computer is in the cloud and is on your phone. So if you want a sort of Apple Photos type approach to your photo storage and editing, where you only want it cloud-based, then maybe Lightroom CC is the way to go. Then there's Lightroom version seven. Now this is basically Lightroom as you knew it without the Creative Cloud. Just you bought the software and you download it onto your computer and that's it. No cloud base, you don't get Lightroom Mobile or anything like that. And then there's Lightroom Classic CC, which is Lightroom as you knew it with all of the cloud features as well. So you get Lightroom Mobile with it and, and all that fun stuff. So again, there's three versions. There is Lightroom CC, which is the sort of dumbed down elements or light version of Lightroom. And then there is Lightroom 7, which is the standalone full software, no, not cloud-based at all, no subscription, you just buy it and install it. And then there is Lightroom Classic CC, which is the top level, which is the full everything, you want everything. And really that's what you know and you've come to love. So is it gonna make a big impact in your editing workflow or anything like that? No because Lightroom is still Lightroom, except now they're just confusing you with having three versions of the same product and changing the name of the one that you've come to love over the years. Thanks Adobe for not listening to everybody who told you not to do this and just going ahead with it anyway. You're just, again, you're making great software. Uh, Lightroom, the new version of Lightroom Classic CC is definitely faster than the last public version of Lightroom CC. It's still not as fast as everybody wants it to be, it's definitely faster, but the name confusion is just kind of silly. It didn't need to be done. That's the end of my rant. And I still will continue to test Lightroom for pre-releases. I just hope they listen to the pre-release testers more next time.